Hey guys, Modern Day Sportsman here. Today we're going to be making a crucible um, out of an old fire extinguisher. So um, the first thing we're going to need is our fire extinguisher. I'm using a smaller one out of an RV. Um, it is a three pound fire extinguisher. And um, the tools that we're going to need is a hacksaw or I'm using a reciprocating saw for, for uh, convenience and um, and or like a hard surface like an anvil or, or a piece of plywood to cut it on. You could also use a vise but I do not have the luxury of having one of those on site with me right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is depressurize it. This is an empty one as you can see but there still could be a little bit of pressure in it. So what I'm going to do is unscrew the top and this could take some time and um, and um, and uh, some manpower. So. Uh, Safety first, we're gonna wear our glasses and we're going to unscrew the top to depressurize it. There we go. So as you can see, we now have the uh, mechanism out and we're left with the empty extinguisher. So I'm just going to dump out whatever leftover liquid inside and now we can get on to cutting it okay guys so I've gone ahead and set up this um, little uh, rack out of some bricks to hold it and now I'm just gonna take my reciprocating saw and hold it with one foot and just cut it at about six to seven inches or however high you want it Always use uh, safety equipment, safety glasses. So uh, now that we have it cut in half. There you go. That's pretty much our finished crucible. Um, there you could. There's another option. You could um, drill holes, one on either side, and make a handle. I prefer to use a uh, um, tong when I'm uh, doing my forging and my uh, smelting. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, me melting, making. Uh, um, aluminum uh, cupcakes and and um, iron uh, exper experimenting with iron thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe